Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. I have been looking forward to this game for a long time, and I've also been meaning to do videos from some game out of this game series for a long time. You've probably heard me go over some of this, or you might have heard me go over some of this, if you've seen me, uh, if you saw me play through the demo. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start over for the main game, and yeah, I'm gonna let's play the whole game blind. I mean, aside from knowing what was in the demo, that's all I know about this game, and, well, a couple other things I've heard, but I haven't been spoiled on plot, really. I haven't been spoiled on what's coming up in dungeons and bosses and stuff, so this, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna have fun, at least, and I hope you'll enjoy these videos, too, but... To be honest, I'm prioritizing my own fun a little more than usual with this LP, which is something I need to do more often, but anyway, uh, I shouldn't blabber too much. Let's just... let's just get started, shall we? Was definitely a voice. Someone is calling to me. You, you who can now hear my voice, might you be a human? If you are, then please listen to my plea. I want you to save the Pokemon world. We need your What was that just now? What could it mean? Those Pokémon... And now there's... something fuzzy. Huh? Wait... That blurry reflection... Could that be... me? Uh, what now? My reflection... It wavered and then... shifted. Almost as if I changed somehow. I changed into a Snivy. I, I look like... I look like Snivy! Huh? Uh, I, I knew it! I really did turn into Snivy. Huh? What's that light? I don't know why, but I feel as if that voice calling for help, I feel like it came from there. Didn't that voice say something about saving the Pokemon world? Hmm. Huh? What the? Uh, what? What? Ah! No! Oh my god! Ah, uh, everything's spinning. Can't see. Hey, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Come on! Someone's calling to me. But who could be? Ah, uh, uh, I can almost make out a figure. Is that...? I'm going with Oshawott. I often chose Pikachu as my partner in these games, but I wanted to mix things up a bit for this playthrough. Hey, you're awake! You okay? What? A p, p pokemon A Pokemon is talking to me? You sure you aren't hurt or anything? Um... That's right. I got turned into a Pokemon, so... I guess I can understand other Pokemon now? Does it hurt anywhere? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. 
Really? Phew, that's a relief! You know, you fell straight out of the sky, right? Uh, out of the sky? Right. Yeah, I think... There was some kind of light. And then I think I fell for a long time. Boy, are you lucky or what? You haven't got a single scratch after falling all that way? That's fantastic! I'm Oshawott, by the way. What about you? What's your name? My name? That's right. My name is... Well, it's certainly not Snivy. Yeah, those of you who saw the demo might hear me repeating some phrases here and there, but don't worry, we'll get onto new stuff soon enough. My name is Galif. Galif? Your name's Galif, huh? Well, nice to meet you. But... where'd you come from, Galif? Huh? Well... Well, I mean, I know you came from the sky just now, but I haven't seen you around here before. So I was asking where you're originally from, where your home is. Of course, it's pretty mysterious how you fell out of the sky like that. <laughs> but you can't tell me you actually live up there, right? <laughs> well, I suppose not. But even if I say I came from the other side of the sky, it's not like anyone would believe me. Not anyone normal. If there was at least some sort of hole in the sky or something, then maybe. But I don't want to lie, either. I guess I'll just have to go ahead and spill the beans. What?! Y you're actually a human?! And you got turned into a Pokémon because some voice was crying for help?! So you fell straight out of the human world and into this one?! Yeah, that's about it. I, I guess it was too much to hope that anyone would believe me. Alright, got it. I believe you. I believe your story, Galif. Uh, what? Just like that? Without any proof or anything? Sure, I know it's a pretty fantastic story to believe. Humans don't exist anywhere except in fairy tales, or that's what I always thought. And it seems totally impossible that a human could just turn into a Pokémon and fall out of the sky one day. But, you know what I think? There are lots of mysteries in the world. But the truth is that, maybe, those things aren't really all that mysterious at all. Maybe they're just things I don't know about yet. And that's why they seem mysterious. Wow. That's pretty... open-minded. That's why I want to learn about all kinds of things and see all kinds of things. I want to meet mythical Pokémon that no one else has ever seen. I want to explore ancient ruins and deep caves. And more than anything, I want to have an adventure. That's right, I want to be an adventurer! And that's exactly why I traveled all the way here to- Oh! Oh, I forgot! The most important meeting of my life! Oh, I've got to get there ASAP, but the path ahead looks really tough. It'll be hard to make it through alone. Ah, oh, what should I do? That's it! Galif, please! Will you come with me on the path ahead? My journey is so close to being over, and everything I want is so near. But if I don't hurry, I might not make it in time. I'm really not sure if I'll be able to make it through on my own. God, there's no more time to explain! Just come with me, okay? Uh... Okay? I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I like what they're doing with the graphics in this game. last couple games I played were completely sprite-based. The full 3D in this game is done pretty well, I think. Hmm. Wow. It's beautiful. It's just bursting with nature here. This way, Galif! Come on, hurry! Huh? The bridge has collapsed! What am I gonna do? How am I supposed to get there now? Ah!
Looks like there's no choice but to try going through there. Let's go, Galif. Alright. Our first dungeon. Warning, tutorial imminent. Get moving and look for the stairs. Use the control pad or circle pad to move. Hold B while moving and you can dash. Move faster. So, this is a mystery dungeon game, also known as... Uh, it, it's basically also called a roguelike, and the way the game works is essentially everything is turn-based. Generally, the order of things is that you take a move yourself, and this includes, like, you move one tile, like, one step, or you use an attack, or you use an item, and then your partner Pokémon will do the same, and then every single enemy on the, f like, on the map will take a turn. But... If you have more than one partner, they all, uh, like, all the enemies on the map, like, the ones that you can't see, they all just move at once, so it's not like it's really slow or anything. While holding L, press one of the buttons to select a move you'd like to use. I want to use Vine Whip! And get a critical hit, nice. So yeah, the game's turn-based, and you just, you go exploring dungeons looking for treasure and adventure and all that good stuff, and... Sometimes more important things. One of the things I like with the Pokémon Mystery Dungeon games as if you're not familiar with uh, the Mystery Dungeon games in Pokémon, you'll see as we go along that... Ow. Out of my face. This is an Oran Berry. Eat it to restore a large amount of HP. They're not kidding, those things will be useful throughout the entire game. Even without an Oran Berry, your HP will gradually recover by walking, and you can hold those two buttons to stand in place and skip turns. You have to be careful because the fact that you're skipping turns means you might draw enemies right to you and get attacked while you're trying to recover HP, which would be bad. You can attack Pokémon without using a move. Try using a move to attack. Yeah, I, I have been. I just didn't. There. You can attack without using moves and, uh, you know, to conserve your move points, your PP, but... Obviously, it's a lot weaker, and I believe... Uh, I don't know if this game works exactly the same. Ah, yes. You can change direction without moving by holding the button. I've already been doing that. That's this thing. Hold the Y button, and you can change direction without accidentally moving anywhere. I don't know if this game works th exactly the same in all ways, because I know there's a couple differences I've heard about, but in the previous games, the way it worked is that... You'd want to use a move on the enemy Pokémon at least once, because it would double the amount of experience points you get when you defeat them. From having just used a move on them at least once. Take the stairs to move on to the next floor, of course. 